Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm bringing you an art journal page, but also a story of procrastination and how we come up with excuses for ourselves, right? So at this moment, I've gotten some inspiration and I'm showing you, this is how I cleaned up for it. I literally just cleared a spot and said, I'm gonna start. I had wanted to make a page that was inspired by Berber Van Gorp, and I'll link to her channel down below in the description. And I have this Dina Wakely media journal that is just haunting me because I've had it and I just don't use it. I wanna buy the blue journal, but I told myself I had to use this one up, so we're gonna use it. And I was watching Berber and I was, this is my grandma's brush. I love to use my grandma's brushes. And I was making a list of prompts and I thought I'm gonna set a timer for myself for 15 minutes and I'm gonna make a list of prompts. And they were things like paint, torn paper, chopped up washi, dried flowers, things that Berber uses in her journals all the time. I find her very inspiring. Her talent definitely exceeds mine and she doesn't leave white space, which if you've seen my pages, I love. <laughs> I'm not really a white space kind of girl. I was sitting there and then a song came on and I thought, oh, I've got it. And in the end, I don't think I set the timer. You can see I'm making a giant mess and I'm okay with that. I think you have to be when you're using, when you're art journaling. I didn't use my glass mat because it's so reflective and it makes my art lights reflect back at you. If I hadn't been filming, I probably would have. So here I put the paint on and the paint is old, so I'm determined to use it. And then I made a really watered down version of it because I wanted to do a wash. Just trying to experiment and not cover the entire page with royal blue, which you know I wanted to do deep down in my soul. But I have lots of those pages, so I thought a wash would be fun. Then I got out some paper and I was tearing. Now, by this point, I found my inspiration. I'm not sitting around thinking, I have to use that journal. I should make a page today. It's the last day of the month. I need to do one for goals, which I was thinking before that. I'm just going like the wind. I want you to notice I found the other tip for my barely art glue and swapped that sucker out and just kept on going. That change right there is a great selling point for barely art. It's a wonderful glue, but also switching the tips like that to be able to do different projects. And again, I talk about how you like different tools, you do different things, not everybody does the same thing, but you can change it up. You could be a card maker and then 10 minutes later, an art journaler. I needed a lot of glue because I know this might shock some of you. I didn't wait for this page to dry all the way. So I'm gluing paper on top of wet paint, which I mean, it worked out okay, which is another point for barely art, right? I think it's a pretty diverse glue. And then I'm just playing. I have no art training. I have no skills. I mean, if you see my art journal pages, I just have fun getting the stuff out and playing. And I think sometimes I, at least, I don't know about you, but I have a tendency to think about, well, I don't have a lot of experience. The product isn't going to turn out well. What could I do? We'll just get the paint out, stick it on the page, see what happens. As my sister says, put the paint on the canvas. I used to call her and say, well, how do you prep the canvas? What do you do? And she would say, put the paint on the canvas. And no matter what I asked her, that's what she would say. I had fun. I did some mark making with my brush. Then I got into the dried flowers, which I dried after I watched a video from Berber. And she uses a ton of dried flowers. She doesn't run out and buy them. She just makes them. And so I was experimenting with those. And I'm listening the entire time to the same song that's playing. So when you see the lyrics that I'm going to put on this page, you, you may or may not know the song, but... When I heard the song, I was just so inspired. I knew, oh, I know what my page for today is going to be. And then I went for a nice long drive after because since I got motivated, got my project done, I it was still pretty mid-morning by the time I was done, did a few more things, and then went out and enjoyed the sunny day. Crafting and relaxing does not have to be inside. It's just wherever the day takes you. My apologies, I'm working off the screen a little you know, by this time, I've completely forgotten that you're watching. <laughs> I, 
I'm just having fun. I'm probably singing and I'm zoomed in too much so you're missing it. I want it to tear that gold washi tape like completely down the strip, but it was kind of plasticky and it wouldn't tear. So it was fighting me a little. Then I got out the gold and this is one of those products. I think we got it in art swap. Noni might've had it. It's too dried out. So I'm adding water and fighting with it a little. It's a wonderful product. Don't judge it based on this. It's not the Nouveau ones. Those do dry out for sure. This was an older product. These have been around for a long time. And I just love it. I love that color. If I actually thought I would use them, I would buy this in more colors, right? I'd have the silver and the red and all of them. So I'm just adding, and then I decided it was too fragmented. So see, now I've gotten enough water in there so it's moving better. Then I decided I was gonna connect some of those smaller ones, and that's what I did. So it wasn't so fragmented. I have no idea about balance or art or any art terms. That's not my thing. I just look at it and go, yeah, I want some more gold right there. And I was trying to give it kind of a regal feel, even though it's a messy page. Berber does her pages. There's some squareness to them. You know, they have some structure and I'm just an asymmetrical mess. Now we're going to put that aside for a minute. I'm working on my quote and I thought it should be on sheet music. I thought that would be perfect. I went through a lot of pens. I left this in because I want you to see that I have a ridiculous amount of craft supplies. I have a whole room. I still don't feel like I have the pen for the project. I was also shocked that I didn't have Posca's in a small one in blue. I love the Sharpie oil based, but when I started writing with it, it was bleeding a little on the paper. So it just kept getting bigger. And I was watching it thinking, mm, that's not going to work. So then I went to my Posca and thought, oh, that's too big too. I'm going through like every writing utensil in the room. And I went through like a month where I thought I was going to do a lot of hand lettering. Maybe it was two months. So I have really nice hand lettering pens too, but I didn't want to take that kind of time. That's a very slow, relaxing hobby. So I finally just found... Uh, a pen that we would use for stamping, journaling on or coloring your stamps and then stamping with them. And it was the perfect color. I mean, I had no shortage of blue markers. The only trick is this is a water-based marker. And in a couple minutes, you're going to see that that wasn't, it would have been fine, but I wasn't quite as careful as I should have been with the water-based. But honestly, had I used my Posca or something else, I wouldn't have given it time to dry. That's a bad habit that I have. Then I start to tear it up and I realize a ruler, that would be brilliant. I'm trying to decide how much do I want, just the music, the notes across the top, do I want them on the top and the bottom. This is a lot of text for the size of the journal. The lyrics maybe with a typewriter or something smaller would have been better, but I don't write that small. It's just not my thing. So then I have my pieces and I'm kind of trying to figure out, okay, how are they going to go? And the part at the end where I wrote the dial down on the bottom, that's just because I'm lazy. I was like, okay, I've had enough fun doing this. I don't want to make another piece of it. It'll be fine. Then we bring it back and I'm starting to figure out how it's going to lay out. I wanted one to fold in the middle. I never really do that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try that. Just sometimes I just get it in my head that something I haven't done before is going to happen on that page. And I grabbed the Barely Art again. It was serving me pretty well. And I pre-folded this so it wouldn't be like too short and not go down there enough. Now here's kind of where I messed up. I was moving quick, had that big tip. So I got some of that glue on my hand and then I smeared the pea. So then I grabbed fabric so that put was still there, right? But you can see I smeared it a little bit. And then I put the other one down and then I just patched up the edges where I missed. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I had a great time. Then I realized, no, no, I don't have any washi on that side. I mean, I just didn't do much more. And then I looked at it and I thought, well, do I want to put some stuff around the edges and blend it all? No, I'm done. I am not at a point where I do lots and lots of layers or, or build really fancy backgrounds, 
but I have a lot of fun. Here, I was bound and determined to put some dried flowers on, and the Queen Anne's lace were kind of big. They maybe would have worked better because they were just white, but I just decided this little sprig was going to go right here. And I did add a bit more glue after the camera was shut off, just because the little seeds were falling out. I think you need quite a bit of glue to glue it down. This is a Marin Morris song, and it's a pretty amazing song. You could drive for a long time with your windows down and listen to this. You should definitely try it. It was fabulous. It was a sunny day. Now, the other thing I want to show you besides this page is what my room looked like afterwards. Because I think sometimes in art journaling or in mixed media, you just have to let go and you got to make a mess. Look at that. My marker is in my dish of paint, which by the way, I took that dish and poured it on other projects. So I didn't just dump it out. I've got stuff everywhere. I mean, it wasn't great before, but now it's like a tornado. But it was so worth it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.